details on Rochester native and center for the Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Stewart, arrested just hours before tip-off in last night's game against the Suns. Isaiah Stewart has been arrested, and NBA players have a lot to say. On a fateful day in Phoenix, tensions ran high between Isaiah Stewart and Drew Eubanks. The altercation stemmed from their previous game against each other in Detroit on November 5th. As the players crossed paths in the back hallways before the game, words were exchanged and tempers flared. Let's get into it, the altercation. On a chilly November evening in Detroit, tensions were already brewing between the Detroit Pistons and the Phoenix Suns. The stage was set for an intense matchup between two fierce competitors. Little did anyone know that the events that unfolded that night would lead to a shocking altercation between Isaiah Stewart and Drew Eubanks. The Athletics' Shams Karania provided fresh details about the incident, shedding light on the underlying animosity between the two players. It all started during their previous encounter on November 5th, a game that ended in a heated exchange of words and a lingering sense of unfinished business. As fate would have it, the Pistons and the Suns were scheduled to face off once again, this time in Phoenix. The tension in the air was palpable as both teams prepared for the game. Isaiah Stewart and Drew Eubanks found themselves in the back hallways of the arena mere moments before tip-off. It was in this confined space that the confrontation took place. Eyewitnesses recounted the scene, describing how the atmosphere became charged with hostility. Isaiah Stewart, known for his fiery demeanor on the court, was visibly agitated. Drew Eubanks, a formidable opponent, stood his ground, refusing to back down. The exchange of words escalated quickly, with each player trying to assert their dominance. Tarania's sources revealed that the altercation was a direct result of the unresolved tensions from their previous encounter. The intensity of their rivalry had reached a boiling point, and it was about to erupt in a shocking display of aggression. Suddenly, Isaiah Stewart dropped his bags, his frustration reaching its peak. In a split second, he unleashed a powerful punch aimed directly at Drew Eubanks's face. The impact was jarring, sending shockwaves through the hallway. Eubanks, caught off guard, took the blow head on. However, what happened next stunned everyone present. Despite the force of the punch, Drew Eubanks remained remarkably composed. He stood there, seemingly unfazed by the attack, his expression unwavering. It was as if he had expected this outburst and had mentally prepared himself for the confrontation. The sheer resilience displayed by Eubanks left onlookers in awe, unable to comprehend the level of self-control he possessed. Security personnel and police swiftly intervened, separating the two players before the situation could escalate further. Isaiah Stewart was promptly escorted out of the arena, his actions deemed unacceptable and deserving of immediate consequences. The NBA, known for its zero-tolerance policy towards violence, vowed to thoroughly investigate the incident. As news of the altercation spread, the Phoenix Suns and the Detroit Pistons released statements addressing the incident. The Suns condemned the unprovoked attack on Drew Eubanks, emphasizing their unwavering support for their player. They pledged to work closely with local law enforcement and the NBA to ensure that justice was served. The Pistons, on the other hand, acknowledged the incident and expressed their commitment to gathering all the necessary information. They vowed to cooperate fully with the NBA and local authorities in their investigation. The team understood the gravity of the situation and recognized the need for a thorough examination of the events leading up to the altercation. With Isaiah Stewart now in police custody, the aftermath of the altercation was just beginning to unfold. The NBA, armed with footage of the incident, would meticulously analyze every Every frame, seeking to understand the motivations behind Stewart's actions. The league's reputation was at stake, and they were determined to send a clear message that violence had no place in the game. As the dust settled after the shocking altercation between Isaiah Stewart and Drew Eubanks, the immediate aftermath brought forth a wave of reactions from the Phoenix Suns, the Detroit Pistons, and the NBA as a whole. The Suns, in a strongly worded statement, condemned the unprovoked attack on Drew Eubanks. They expressed their unequivocal support for their player, emphasizing that acts of violence such as this were unacceptable. The Detroit Pistons, fully aware of the gravity of the situation, acknowledged the incident and immediately began the process of gathering information. They recognized the need to understand the events leading up to the altercation and what may have provoked it. The team was committed to cooperating fully with the NBA and local authorities, demonstrating their dedication to upholding the integrity of the game. Pistons coach Monty Williams, who had previously been associated with the Phoenix Suns, weighed in on the situation. He expressed his belief that the the Suns should refrain from making statements until all the facts were gathered. Williams emphasized the importance of a thorough investigation before passing judgment, highlighting the need for responsible and informed decision-making. The NBA, known for its swift action in response to player misconduct, swiftly launched an investigation into the incident. Armed with footage of the altercation, the league's officials meticulously analyzed every frame, seeking to understand the sequence of events and the motivations behind Isaiah Stewart's actions. The NBA's reputation was on the line and they were
they were determined to ensure a fair and just resolution. As news of the altercation spread, the basketball community was abuzz with discussions and opinions. Kevin Durant, a star player for the Phoenix Suns, shared his thoughts on the incident. He acknowledged the unfortunate nature of the altercation, stating that it was supposed to be a brotherhood within the league. Durant emphasized the importance of prioritizing the game and avoiding such confrontations. He expressed his hope that the NBA could move forward from this incident and continue to foster unity among its players. The altercation between Isaiah Stewart and Drew Eubanks also brought to light Stewart's previous on-court altercation with LeBron James in 2021. The incident resulted in suspensions for both players, further highlighting Stewart's propensity for confrontations. The NBA, with this knowledge in mind, would take into account Stewart's history as they deliberated on the appropriate course of action. In the days following the altercation, the basketball world eagerly awaited updates on the investigation. The NBA's commitment to transparency and accountability was evident as they worked diligently to gather all the necessary information. The league understood the importance of sending a clear message that violence had no place in the game and that players would be held accountable for their actions. As the investigation unfolded, the focus shifted to the upcoming games and the impact this incident would have on both the Phoenix Suns and the Detroit Pistons. The Suns, determined to maintain their focus on the game, rallied around Drew Eubanks, offering their unwavering support. The Pistons, on the other hand, faced the challenge of managing the fallout from their players' actions while striving to maintain team morale. The shocking altercation between Isaiah Stewart and Drew Eubanks had far-reaching consequences, not only for the players involved, but also for their respective teams. For Isaiah Stewart, the consequences of his actions were immediate. Following his arrest, he was issued a citation and subsequently released by the Phoenix police. The weight of his actions and the potential repercussions loomed over him as he awaited the NBA's decision on his fate. Stewart's future in the league hung in the balance, with his reputation tarnished by this violent outburst. Drew Eubanks, on the other hand, displayed remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. Despite being the target of an unprovoked attack, Eubanks stood tall, both physically and mentally. His ability to remain composed and focused amidst the chaos spoke volumes about his character and professionalism. The impact of the altercation extended beyond the players themselves and reverberated through their respective teams. The league itself took the incident as an opportunity to reinforce its commitment to maintaining a safe and respectful environment. The NBA's zero-tolerance policy towards violence was reinforced, and the league vowed to take swift and appropriate action in response to player misconduct. The NBA also recognized the importance of transparency and accountability, ensuring that investigations were thorough and fair. Nevertheless, it's important to point out that this isn't the first time Isaiah has found himself in such a situation. Past controversies. Now let's dive into the intense and unforgettable altercation between Isaiah Stewart and LeBron James, as well as the fiery stare-down between Stewart and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the altercation between Isaiah Stewart and LeBron James. It was a game that would go down in basketball history, filled with intensity, drama, and an altercation that would leave fans in disbelief. The Detroit Pistons faced off against the mighty Los Angeles Lakers, and little did they know that this matchup would ignite a firestorm on the court. As the game unfolded, tensions began to rise. It was a hard-fought battle, with both teams giving it their all. But in a split second, everything changed. LeBron James, the legendary Lakers superstar, accidentally struck Isaiah Stewart in the face, causing a deep gash on his eyebrow. Blood poured down Stewart's face, and in that moment, something snapped. The pain mixed with anger, fueling a surge of adrenaline that would unleash a storm of fury. Isaiah Stewart, known as Stewie to his fans, completely lost control. He charged at LeBron James with a ferocity that shook the entire arena. It was a sight to behold as Stewart relentlessly tried to fight James, refusing to back down. Even James's own teammates, Carmelo Anthony and Russell Westbrook, tried to intervene and calm the situation, but Stewart was a force to be reckoned with, determined to get a piece of James, no matter the cost. The chaos escalated further when Stewart, in a desperate move, attempted to bypass security. He sneaked back into the dressing rooms, only to re-emerge from a different side, still fueled by his unwavering determination to confront James. The entire incident left the basketball world in shock. Fans watched in awe and disbelief as Stewie unleashed his fury in a way that had never been seen before. It was a moment that would forever be etched in the memories of those who witnessed it. The altercation between Isaiah Stewart and LeBron James was a clash of emotions, a collision of 
two fierce competitors. It was a moment that showcased the raw intensity and passion that exists within the world of professional basketball. After the dust settled and the chaos subsided, the basketball world eagerly awaited LeBron James's response to the altercation. Surprisingly, James remained silent, choosing not to address the incident until later. In a game against the Indiana Pacers, James made headlines once again, but this time for a different reason. After scoring the winning basket at the buzzer, he found himself caught in another controversy. James made the referees eject two Pacers fans from the arena, sparking a wave of criticism. It was in the aftermath of this game that James finally broke his silence on the altercation with Isaiah Stewart. He revealed that he agreed with the decision to suspend both players, but he maintained his stance that he did not intentionally hit Stewart. I want to make it clear that I did not hit Isaiah Stewart on purpose. It was an unfortunate accident, and I understand his frustration. But I stand by my actions and believe that the league made the right decision in suspending both of us. Despite James's statement, Isaiah Stewart remained unconvinced. The young Pistons player, still nursing his wounds, firmly believed that James had intentionally targeted him. The stage was set for their next encounter, and the basketball world held its breath, wondering how both players would react when they saw each other again. After the Detroit Pistons' defeat against the LA Clippers, Isaiah Stewart finally broke his silence and addressed the media regarding the altercation with LeBron James. I've watched the film and personally, I still don't believe it was an accident, but this will be my last time addressing it. Right now, my focus is on my team and getting back to playing basketball. I won't let this define me. I'll let my game on the court speak for itself. The anticipation grew as the next game between the Pistons and the Lakers approached. The clash between Isaiah Stewart and LeBron James was set to reignite, and the basketball world couldn't help but wonder how the two players would react when they finally came face to face. The stage was set for a showdown of epic proportions, a battle that would test the limits of sportsmanship and rivalry. The basketball world eagerly awaited the next chapter in this gripping saga, as the highly anticipated game between the Detroit Pistons and the Los Angeles Lakers approached. All eyes were on Isaiah Stewart. The young Pistons player, still nursing the physical and emotional wounds from his altercation with LeBron James, held firm in his belief that the hit was no accident. Stewart had watched the film countless times, analyzing every frame, every angle. In his eyes, the evidence pointed to a deliberate act by James. The fire within him burned brighter than ever as he prepared to face his rival once again. Stewart's determination to let his game define him, rather than the altercation, was evident in his every move. He knew that the best way to prove his worth was through his performance on the court. The basketball world watched with bated breath as the moment of confrontation drew near. How would Stewart react when he saw LeBron James again? Would he let his emotions get the better of him, or would he rise above the chaos and let his game speak for itself? The tension in the arena was palpable as the game began. Every eye was on Stewart and James, waiting for that inevitable clash. The moment arrived, and the two players locked eyes. Their rivalry reignited. It was a battle of wills, a test of character. Stewart's belief that James had hit him on purpose fueled his every move. The intensity on the court reached new heights as the two players fought for dominance. The basketball world held its breath, captivated by the spectacle unfolding before them. It was a clash of titans, a moment that would forever be etched in the annals of basketball history. After serving his two-match suspension, Isaiah Stewart made his highly anticipated return to the court. As you know, the the suspension came as a result of his altercation with LeBron James during a game between the Detroit Pistons and the Los Angeles Lakers. Stewart has also had issues with Giannis Antetokounmpo. During a game between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Detroit Pistons, Giannis Antetokounmpo found himself ejected after receiving his second technical foul. The incident occurred in the third quarter when Antetokounmpo stared down Isaiah Stewart after a powerful dunk, taunting him. The ejection came as a shock to many, as Antetokounmpo played only 22 minutes before being forced to leave the game. In the aftermath, the crew chief, Rodney Mott, provided an explanation for the series of events that led to Antetokounmpo's ejection. According to Mott, the first technical foul was issued when Antetokounmpo approached a game official and used profanity, resulting in an unsportsmanlike technical foul. The second technical foul was given for taunting Stewart, deemed unsportsmanlike as well. As per the rules, two unsportsmanlike technical fouls lead to ejection from the game. The explanation shed light on the referee's decision, but it left fans divided on whether the punishment was warranted. Following Giannis Antetokounmpo's ejection, various members of the Milwaukee Bucks organization shared their thoughts on the incident. Bucks coach Adrian Griffin acknowledged that he needed to do a better job of protecting Antetokounmpo, expressing his belief that the star player deserved more support from him during games. 
Griffin admitted that he had been dropping the ball in advocating for Antetokounmpo when he faced physicality from opponents. He emphasized the emotional nature of the game and praised Antetokounmpo's phenomenal play, expressing surprise at the second technical foul. Milwaukee center Brooke Lopez acknowledged that there were questionable calls throughout the game, but emphasized the need to fight through them. While he disagreed with Antetokounmpo's ejection, Lopez saw it as an opportunity for the team to come together and figure things out without their star player on the court. Bucks forward. Jay Crowder weighed in on the incident, noting that Antetokounmpo made a face and took off running without saying a word. Crowder expressed his frustration with the decision to eject Antetokounmpo, questioning how he could be thrown out for a stare-down without uttering a single word. While acknowledging that Antetokounmpo deserved the first technical foul, Crowder found the second one debatable. These reactions from Bucks personnel showcased a range of perspectives on the incident, with some expressing support for Antetokounmpo and others questioning the severity of the punishment. So, a quick recap cap. The altercations involving Isaiah Stewart, LeBron James, and Giannis Antetokounmpo have captivated the basketball world. The intense confrontation between Stewart and James, fueled by Stewart's belief that the hit was intentional, has left fans eagerly anticipating their next encounter. Meanwhile, Antetokounmpo's ejection for taunting Stewart added another layer of drama to the story. The reactions from Bucks personnel and the referee's explanation further fueled the debate surrounding the incident. As the basketball community eagerly awaits the next matchups, the anticipation and and excitement continue to build. These incidents serve as reminders of the raw emotions and intense rivalries that make the sport so captivating. Now I'll talk about Isaiah Stewart's rise into prominence. Stewart's rise. From his early days in Rochester, New York, to his college basketball career with the Washington Huskies, and now his position as a powerhouse player for the Detroit Pistons, Stewart's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. Standing at 6 feet 8 inches and weighing 250 pounds, Stewart's physical prowess is matched only by his unwavering determination and unmatched skill on the court. Isaiah Stewart, born on May 22, 2001, in Rochester, New York, had an upbringing that would shape his destiny as a basketball prodigy. Growing up, Stewart was involved in various sports, including soccer and even boxing. However, it was basketball that truly captured his heart and showcased his exceptional size and athleticism. From a young age, Stewart stood out among his peers due to his towering height. In fifth grade, he made the decision to focus solely on basketball, recognizing the potential his physical attributes held in the sport. At the age of 10, while attending elementary school in Rochester, Stewart played organized basketball for the first time, marking the beginning of his remarkable journey. Standing at around six feet tall by the age of 12, Stewart's potential was undeniable. His natural talent and dedication to the game quickly became evident as he honed his skills on the court. With each passing year, Stewart's passion for basketball grew stronger, fueling his desire to become the best player he could be. Stewart's high school career played a pivotal role in his rise to prominence. He began his journey at McQuaid Jesuit High School in New York, where he made an immediate impact as a freshman. Standing at an impressive 6 feet 7 inches, Stewart dominated the court, averaging 18.5 points, 12.4 rebounds, and 3.1 blocks per game. His exceptional performances, including two back-to-back 40-point -back games, earned him the title of Rochester City Athletic Conference Player of the Year. However, Stewart's sophomore season took an unexpected turn when he broke his tailbone during United States National Under-16 team tryouts. This unfortunate setback forced him to miss a significant portion of the season. But true to his resilient nature, Stewart returned to the court on February 2, 2017, making a triumphant season debut with an outstanding performance of 35 points points, 14 rebounds, and 6 blocks. Recognizing the need for new challenges and opportunities, Stewart made a bold decision before his junior year. He transferred to La Lumiere School, a prestigious prep school in La Porte, Indiana, known for its exceptional basketball program. This move allowed Stewart to further develop his skills and compete against top-tier talent. At La Lumiere, Stewart continued to shine, averaging 19.8 points, 11.2 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks per game in his junior season. His dominant performances led his team to an impressive 25-4 record. Stewart's exceptional talent did not go unnoticed as he earned Max Preps Jr. All-American Honorable Mention recognition. In his senior season, Stewart's impact on the court reached new heights. Averaging 18.1 points, 11.3 rebounds, and 2.9 blocks per game, he played a pivotal role in leading La Lumiere to a remarkable 30-1 record. Stewart's outstanding performances earned him prestigious accolades, including the Naismith Prep Player of the Year and Mr. Basketball USA Awards. He was also named to the USA 
Today All-USA First Team and the Max Preps All-American Second Team. Stewart's high school success solidified his status as one of the top players in the 2019 class. College, basketball programs across the nation vied for his commitment. Ultimately, Stewart chose to play for the Washington Huskies, where he would continue his basketball journey at the collegiate level. After an impressive high school career, Isaiah Stewart took his talents to the University of Washington, where he continued to make waves in the world of basketball. His arrival at Washington brought with it high expectations, as he and his teammate Jaden McDaniels were projected as potential top picks in the 2020 NBA draft. Stewart's college debut for the Washington Huskies was nothing short of spectacular. In the 2019 Armed Forces Classic against the Baylor Bears, he showcased his skills with a remarkable performance. Stewart recorded 15 points and 7 rebounds, including the game-winning basket in a thrilling 67-64 victory for Washington. This debut set the stage for what would be an exceptional freshman season. Throughout the regular season, Stewart consistently displayed his dominance on the court. His powerful presence in the paint and ability to score at will made him a force to be reckoned with. His notable performances included a standout game against Arizona in the Pac-12 tournament, where he posted an impressive 29 points and 12 rebounds. Stewart's contributions played a significant role in the success of the Washington Huskies. At the conclusion of his freshman season, Stewart's outstanding performances earned him recognition and accolades. He was named to the all Pac-12 first team and the freshman team, solidifying his status as one of the top players in the conference. His remarkable averages of 17 points, 8.8 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks per game showcased his versatility and impact on the court. Stewart's decision to declare for the 2020 NBA draft marked the end of his college career, as he chose to forego his remaining eligibility. Although his time at Washington was brief, his impact was undeniable. Stewart left a lasting legacy as one of the most dominant players to wear the Huskies jersey. Isaiah Stewart's exceptional college basketball career paved the way for his transition to the professional ranks. His talent and potential were recognized by NBA scouts, leading to his selection in the 2020 NBA draft. Stewart's journey to the NBA began when he was drafted as the 16th overall pick by the Portland Trail Blazers. However, Stewart's time with the Trail Blazers was short-lived. In a series of trades, he found himself being traded to the Houston Rockets and then ultimately to the Detroit Pistons. This move to the Pistons presented Stewart with a new opportunity to showcase his skills and make a name for himself in the NBA. With the Detroit Pistons, Stewart quickly made an impact. Known for his tenacity and relentless work ethic, he became a fan favorite and a key contributor to the team. His versatility as a power forward and center allowed him to make significant contributions on both ends of the court. Stewart's rookie season with the Pistons was filled with memorable moments. He displayed his prowess as a rebounder and shot blocker, making his presence felt in the paint. His energy and intensity on the court were unmatched, earning him the respect of his teammates and opponents alike. One of the defining moments of Stewart's rookie season came during a game against the Los Angeles Lakers. In the third quarter, a scuffle broke out between Stewart and Lakers superstar LeBron James. Stewart, known for his fiery demeanor, charged at James multiple times, showing his fearlessness and determination. The incident resulted in both players being ejected from the game, further solidifying Stewart's reputation as a fierce competitor. Despite the occasional confrontation, Stewart's rookie season was filled with promising performances. He showcased his scoring ability, rebounding prowess, and shot blocking skills, proving that he belonged in the NBA. His contributions on the court did not go unnoticed, as he was named to the NBA All-Rookie Second Team, a testament to his impact as a rookie. As Stewart's career progressed, he faced both triumphs and challenges. In March 2023, he suffered a left shoulder impingement that sidelined him for several weeks. However, he bounced back from the injury and continued to make significant contributions to the Pistons' success. Off the court, Stewart's dedication and commitment to the game were recognized by the Pistons organization. In July 2023, he agreed to a four-year $64 million contract extension, solidifying his future with the team and further validating his rise in the NBA. However, Stewart's journey has not been without its share of controversy. As you already know, in February 2024, he made headlines when he was arrested for assault after allegedly punching opponent Drew Eubanks in a parking lot dispute before a game against the Phoenix Suns. The incident served as a reminder of the intensity and passion that Stewart brings to the game but also highlighted the need for composure and control. Despite the ups and downs, Isaiah Stewart's transition to the professional basketball career has been nothing short of remarkable. From his draft night to his early experiences in the NBA, he has proven himself as a force to be reckoned with. As he continues to develop and grow as a player, the future looks bright for this rising star. Throughout his basketball career, Isaiah Stewart has amassed an impressive collection of achievements and awards, solidifying his status as one of the game's rising stars. 
From his high school days to his college and professional career, Stewart's talent and dedication have been recognized at every level. Stewart's journey to success began during his high school years, where he quickly established himself as one of the top players in the nation. His exceptional performances on the court earned him numerous accolades, including being named a McDonald's All-American, a prestigious honor reserved for the best high school basketball players in the country. Stewart's dominance and impact were further recognized when he was awarded the title of Mr. Basketball USA and the Naismith Prep Player of the Year. Upon entering college, Stewart continued to make waves with his remarkable skills and contributions to the Washington Huskies. In his lone season at Washington, he showcased his versatility and prowess, earning him a spot on the All-Pac-12 first team. This recognition highlighted his impact on the conference and solidified his status as one of the top players in college basketball. As Stewart's career continues to unfold, it is clear that he is destined for greatness. His drive to improve, coupled with his natural abilities, sets him apart from his peers. With each passing season, he continues to make strides and leave a lasting impact on the game. As fans, we can only anticipate the incredible achievements and milestones that await Isaiah Stewart. With his remarkable talent, determination, and passion for the game, the future is undoubtedly bright for this rising star. Thanks for tuning in. Click on the videos on your screen for similar content.